So, Daniel, who is this book for? It's for you, <laughs> for yes, Ada. Sure. Uh, it's for every person, really, uh, because we are all leaders of our own lives. Wow. Okay? Uh, the mother at home, the housewife, the guy who is, I don't know, sweeping the floor. Every person has got his own admin, uh, organizing board, mm -hmm. his own admin scale, his own goals. We call it the accomplishment ladder. He's got his own organization. Uh, he's got people that he's working with all the time. So every person must understand what's going on around him and how to work, how to operate in a group. Uh, we are all at all, uh, you know, looking at Hubbard and trying to figure out how it is that one person, one man, has discovered so much, developed so much technology, has made such important discoveries about life. I mean, he found out about the reactive mind and gave us the way to clear. He, he found out or isolated the Satan is separate from the mind, separate from the body, and gave us the OT levels, operating Satan levels, on how each of us can become much more able, and spiritual freedom, which we mentioned earlier. And then he researched study, so people can study what he found out, and then he reached search organization, so people can work together in groups, because you don't accomplish anything on your own. Uh, and then, of course, ethics, tech, and all these different things. So, uh, when you want to achieve, accomplish big impact on a broad scale, you're talking big organizations and networks of people, of groups, working together. And we have to set uh, the philosophy of Hubbard on a trend of growth. And it's seen here dramatically. Our growth is phenomenal. We are doing things that have never been done before, I think. The cooperation that we have with the group in Tel Aviv. We have people in Israel and in Europe and now in the U.S. working with our books. The books are coming out in many uh, languages. Every book has a check sheet. So it's studied as a course. And you can see, Aitan can see, I can see daily the wins on the individuals who do these courses. And I cannot say 100%, but the vast majority of people who do these courses go up the bridge. So that's great success. And with correct application of Hubbard's admin tech, we are cooperating, working together with like-minded individuals or people with similar goals don't show what I mentioned earlier, Kaspar Singatis in Riga, Latvia, many other people who work with us and we share the same goals. Um, so this is something that every person should study and benefit from. Okay, great, Danny. So tell us what the content of the book. Wow, well, it's got a lot of subjects. Uh, just a table of contents is four pages long. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, why you must work in an organization, what are the components of the organization. Hubbard says that the individual is made out of uh, spirit or fate and mind body. Well, same goes for the org. Fate and mind body or goal maker, uh, mind and body, uh, accomplishment ladder, which is the admin scale. Uh, how do you build an organization? And this is vital data for every businessman, every business person. Because you start on your own and you start with something small. And you want to build it up. Yeah. And if you're good at what you're doing, then you will have more and more clients reaching for you. You can be a shoemaker or you're a baker. You make some nice cake or you invent some uh, computer. Steve Jobs, he figured out some new way to compute or Bill Gates with Microsoft, with Windows. So you come up with the right idea. When you're successful, more and more people uh, will come and buy your product or your services, and you need to start building up an organization. You have to know how to build an organization. 
and Hubbard gave us a fantastic recipe for building an organization. So that's in the book, of course. And then, of course, the conditions. The operating conditions, again, an amazing discovery by Hubbard. Really, the laws of nature, of the steps of survival. We want to survive, so the top survival is being in power, condition of power, but some people fall and they don't know how to achieve power and they stay at non A or they go down to confusion or they, be they betray themselves or their friends, treason. So the conditions are here. What else do we have? Uh, a lot of information about applying and working with the conditions and the formulas. The condition formulas, uh, again, what is successful steps formula for building an organization and then the main points of failure of an organization because we see failing organizations. So there are uh, certain factors that destroy organizations. Again, major discovery by Ron Hubbard. What are the major points that cause organizations to fail? And we know worldwide that most companies, uh, that people start a new business, the vast majority fail within a few, a short time, two or three years. Even in Israel there was a statistic in the newspaper just recently, 40,000 new businesses open every year, just in Israel, wow. small country, 40,000, and most of them shut down within a year. Wow. So, and, and this happens because people have a bright idea, but they don't know how to work, and they don't know how to organize, and there's factors, there's uh, people who are antagonistic to you, they're going to uh, destroy you, there's practices that are destructive and disruptive that prevent the organization from succeeding. Uh, I can tell you from my own experience that I've run into these things again and again here when managing Draw Center for the past 30 years. That's, <laughs> That's <it>. quite some time. <laughs> That's quite not some time. Enough for credentials. And if it were not for the abilities that I have uh, from applying Hubbard's technology to myself, auditing, OT level and that stuff. And the knowledge that I have from studying Ronab, if I did not have the ability and the tools, I would not succeed here. Uh, and then there's finally subjects, tips for the manager, tools for the manager, how you create understanding and cooperation within the organization. We know it as the ARC triangle. Uh, KRC triangle, responsibility, a lot of emphasis on responsibility and how you raise responsibility in the organization, production, and uh, that's it, basically. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of subjects here, and I'm sure that every person, definitely every person who's in business, in management, will find it interesting and beneficial. Uh, so the book has all of Hubbard's administrative technology, but to make it real to the reader and uh, to share with him my experience. I gave a lot of anecdotes uh, my, from my personal life, examples of how I apply the data in life, uh, in my experience managing. So it's got my own little stories and my experience applying Hubbard's uh, admin tech. Okay, great, Daniel. Good. So. Thank you for all the information. What are your wishes for the people who are going to read your book? Well, I wish for every person, uh, well, you know what I wish? I wish uh, spiritual freedom, <laughs> higher awareness. Uh, I wish for people to receive auditing, to go up the bridge, to achieve clear and OT. And I wish for people to apply the philosophy of Harvard to their lives and you cannot separate uh, personal goals from being part of a group. You're always part of the group, and that is why the group starts, uh, the book starts with the chapter Pack Hunter, and this drawing. Uh, okay, so we have this, this picture. <laughs>
We have this picture in the book, and it's uh, called A Mammothant by John Steeple Davis. And uh, whether you're a hunter in uh, prehistoric days, like a million years ago, and uh, now working in high tech, you always work with other people and you always accomplish your goals uh, with others. So how to work with people? So it's all these fields together. So I wish for people to go up the bridge. I would like to see many people uh, opening up life power centers so yet others can find out about Hubbard's philosophy and have the wins and the gains from Hubbard's philosophy. And if people want to succeed in leadership, in business, in any area of life, they must have Hubbard's administrative technology. And this is the most important points are in this book. So good luck, good luck to all. <laughs> so what are your wishes for the people? Wow. Uh, Look, I can tell you about myself that I have accomplished both uh, being the manager of Door Center and outside of Door Center I have quite a few big businesses that I manage in Israel, in Europe. So financially I'm a wealthy person and I use my wealth to spread Hubbard's philosophy, to make it available to other people. And I've achieved this with the application of Hubbard's admin tech. And there is a very important data from Hubbard. The final result of COPE is drown. The end product of organizers' freedom. If you uh, all the time improvise and look for ways to make it somehow go right, eventually you're going to drown. If you have the technology, if you know what you're doing, if you organize correctly, you will succeed, you will prosper, and you will achieve uh, individual freedom. So, and those are my wishes for all people, to flourish, to prosper, and to organize your life so you can achieve personal freedom.